You're watching ShortStream.tv, a Kitty Hill digital community. So this year, in addition to May 5th being an excuse to party, you know, Cinco de Mayo, it also marks Climate Impact Day, an attempt to connect the dots on matters related to changes in climate and weather patterns around the world. So when I heard that my friends Mike and Jennifer were launching an urban farm, I thought I'd drop in and have a look. So this is a green dot that Jennifer built or made, painted, using scrap wood and some leftover paint we had. So uh, this, this whole movement going on this weekend, there are people yeah. all over the country doing this, isn't that right? All over the world. All yep. over the world? Yeah, all yeah, right. this is a worldwide movement. Now what you're doing is, yeah. behind us is this huge community garden. Tell me more about this because, I mean, this is, yeah. this is more than just one, one day, one family, one day, one yeah. family. I mean, this, this is, looks like it's meant to serve how many people, you figure? Well, uh, we're not sure how much it's going to produce, but uh, Jennifer and I started it uh, as a way to feed ourselves yeah. across the street. This basically was a, a, a lot full of crushed stone and concrete, so we've got a lot of time invested so far just cleaning up the space, making it smooth, putting down the loam. Today we're spreading the compost, and so Jennifer and I are going to be feeding ourselves off of this space, and there's also going to be some community sp community. Uh, some beds available for uh, right. tenants who live in the buildings that abut it. Okay. So you, you just told me that you know, you've lived here for what, four years? Yep. And in the last month, with this garden project, this urban farm project, you've mm -hmm. met more of the neighbors than you have in the last four years. Yeah. Yeah, people are curious and they come out and ask what we're doing and yeah, it's been great. This was an old abandoned lot. There was a garage bay, like the one that's over there. Yeah. Um, and they took it down three years ago, and then it just was sitting here with concrete and garbage and weeds, and no one was using the space. So doing something like this helps bring people together and creates community, which is, I think, a really important part of sustainability. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to coming back down and checking out the space as things start to grow, as you start to have things planted and yeah. check it out. So we'll come back, check back in with uh, Jennifer here. Thanks. Awesome. <laughs> hey, friends. Welcome to the Tiki Hunt of Happiness. I'm Jeff Dick. I'm here to bring you an uplift of fact. Every week, every week, this week comes to us from an equal fifth study in the journal called Personal and Social Psychology Review. And they found that thoughts of death can improve your life. Now, this is coming from something known in psychology is terror management theory. And of course, thoughts of death can have negative effects. But they can also help you improve your life. They can help you think again. Think about the grand stake of things. Think about the fact that you're going to die. So this is good news. Because we are all going to die. And so when we have those thoughts, we can turn them towards something productive. I'm Jeff Deck. Now, one of my favorite local artists has a show opening this evening, Cinco de Mayo. So I'm heading up to the number 27 gallery in Rochester to check out Brett Davis's new show called Go For Broke. Yeah, look at that. Look how good that looks. That looks alright, right? That looks great. I'm a thinker. Look, your name is above you. I'm a thinker. So tell me a little bit about what inspires this work. Hard work, bills school loans, the economy, um, and rap music. And rap music. Yes. Quite a combination. Yes. Now, I, I've enjoyed the, the artwork that you've done with the dollar bills. It's taken you to Paris. It's taken me to Paris and back. Now, tell me about the, the, uh, the rifle. The rifle is the newest piece, and it is the new direction. I'm taking a break from the money. Um, 
and it's all about uh, toys as a, you had as a child, a toy everyone can relate to, whether you're a boy or a girl. Uh, I think everyone can relate to the little green army man. Um, and it's a, uh, it's a commentary, I think, on children in, you know, war-torn countries and boy soldiers. Yeah. And um, the AK is a symbol that's known across the world. And uh, using American GI soldiers in the, uh, to create the weapon of the enemy. Yeah. You know, there's a little uh, social commentary there, maybe a little political commentary. Um, but at interpretive, the end, if you will. Interpretive. Um, but at the end of the day, they're painted purple. Uh, it's fun. They're toys. And let's not be too serious. <laughs> All right. I noticed some joking, but I'll leave that for you. If you come up here, look around the gallery because Brett's work is okay, inspiring. Brett's so thank you. And uh, how can people find out more about you? BrettDavisDesigns.com. All right. And remember to go for broke. Go for broke. Thank you. Okay, well, what's most on my mind this week is uh, Chen Guang Chen, um, the heroic Chinese dissident, a blind man who managed to escape um, uh, uh, over a fence, and, and for all the folderol of um, how he managed to get to the embassy and the mistakes that were made there, um, nobody's ever prepared for this sort of thing. And the point to me that's important is, number one, we've helped publicize uh, what life in China is like once again because um, this man was involved in the government being involved at the most intimate points of our lives. And that's what happens when government is the most important influence in the individual lives of citizens. Uh, and it also shows that uh, even though it takes a little bit of folder rolling around, uh, we stand up for people as often as we can. The politics of the world are terrible, terrible things. And, um, and I'm real proud of us and, and our State Department and of that man, a wonderful, wonderful dissident. Short Stream TV is the Monday morning show with your stay-at-home dad advice tip that comes from you all the way from Kalamazoo City. <laughs> Always lie on the couch because sometimes you can't stand up. Thank you, Jay Peterman from Kalamazoo City. <laughs> The open road at last, ready to go places. Thanks to three small boys with hidden talent for burglary, only half an hour behind schedule. And who cares about schedules when they're vacation bound? Apparently, pop does. But stepping on it is not the expert way to make up for lost time. The faster he goes, the fewer the miles on a tank full of gas. Much of the time he thinks he is saving by extra speed may actually be spent in extra refueling stops. Speed is expensive. For the average car, driving costs increase rapidly as driving speeds go up. So take it easy, Pop. That's right. You'll get there more economically, more safely, and probably just as soon if you drive at an efficient rate. 